Okay, let me show you some low cost GNSS receiver device and how these devices can be used to log GNSS data for high accuracy signal processing. First, we need a GPS or GNSS receiver. So this is one such type of receiver, high accuracy and low cost. So you can see the size of the receiver is about one, two, three, four centimeters and by two centimeters and this receiver has a this is the antenna and the USB port so I will connect this GPS cable to this receiver okay so we'll connect the antenna and then I will connect uh, this receiver to Android device my Android mobile phone okay so this is Android mobile phone so we can connect to this device but you know to connect this receiver and the device we need a special cable called OTG cable so this is like this and then also we need to connect your receiver to the Android through the OTG cable another USB cable okay so we need these four devices and now we connect this OTG cable to Android device like this okay so it's connected and then this USB cable is connected to the receiver and then we connect here yeah. okay now this Android device is giving power to the receiver GNS receiver you can see the LED and I'll put my device on now since it's connected to, to the mobile phone so it's asking whether I want to use the app to allow access the device I will just say okay and we'll use the RTK Droid the app is called RTK Droid so so put this on okay now we need to set up some parameters to log the data for RTK for example we have a kinematic mode this rover is a your receiver here rover mode kinematic or if we want to log the data in a static or single processing without doing uh, RTK or for standard accuracy we select single and we don't get other things here so we select RTK and we can set the elevation mask to remove the satellites that's uh, visible at very low elevation so we set normally 15 degrees and also we can select the ambiguity re resolution type there are many different continuous instantaneous and fix and hold so we select fix and hold also we can select the type of the satellites we we want to use gps qgss galileo gps glonass qgss and galileo or gps beidou qgss and galileo this is what i normally select and also we can set up the output frequency output uh, rate of the receiver so this is the one hertz output rate so we select one hertz and finally we have to set up the base station data the ip address and so on you see the uh, ip address port mount point username and passport password so this data you can get from your base station data provider or the course station provider so you have to connect to one of your course or base station data using the internet that means your device must have internet access so this is necessary only for real-time processing if you want to do real-time RTK. So you have to set up all these so that the receiver can access the data in real time and give you the RTK processing. But if you don't have access to base, base station during your field survey, like you don't have internet and all, you can just log the data without these parameters. So that's also possible. So after we set up everything, we set start rover now it's asking start data recording and you say yes if you want to record all the data coming to your receiver your device so all data will be logged in your android phone and if you log 
if you say yes so this data will be logged in android device and you can do post-processing with these devices and this will help you to do uh, post-processing even if uh, you don't have uh, internet access in the field so after some time we'll be able to see some of the satellites here visible satellites here okay we have to wait some time um, okay now we got the position data here okay and also a uh, number of visible satellites five but you see these are located at one side of the sky plot the, that means the antenna I have put is just outside my room in the veranda so the visibility is not so good so, but this is just for the demonstration purpose and I'm logging the data you can see here so this data I can use for post processing later all these data are logged in my Android device so I can download and do the post processing using uh, another software called RTK Leave. So this is how we log the data for high accuracy pr uh, processing from the very low cost devices. And this data or this type of uh, GNSS receiver, it can give you accuracy of few tens of centimeters. Okay, this is all about how to log the data, how to connect the device using our app called RTK Droid. And our other videos or other lectures or notes it will help you uh, to to process this data for high accuracy and if we have uh, access to the base station in real time we'll also have the rtk output here for centimeter uh, accuracy so currently we don't have this because i'm now inside the room and we access the data just outside the balcony and it's not also very good data here so we just uh, show you how to log the data how to set up the device and how easy it is to to do rtk with this type of low cost receiver now i stop the recording and also i stop the rover so this is all